bit of a grey morning, um, a bit damp, which might uh, make it a little bit easier to find things. I'm told that uh, slightly damp or wet earth is a bit more uh, conductive. So um, let's see how we get on. Uh, got the Macro Racer 2 today and the Nocta Pinpointer and the, as you can see, the um, GoPro with a chest mount and um, uh, hopefully find some coins today. So it would be nice to find a bit of Victorian silver. Uh, I think the best I've found so far on these fields or this field is or are um, Victorian coins from about 1860 onwards and a few little relics like watch winders and uh, things like that. So uh, let's see how we get on. I'm not sure what this is going to be. It was a bit of an iffy signal when I uh, uh, came across it, but then I opened the, uh, the earth and the signal got quite a bit better. So what's it going to be? Oh, that's a good start, isn't it? First hole. Have I seen? Oh, I thought it was two, but that's just the um, the imprint there. Look, just goes to show. Dig those iffy signals because I wasn't going to bother with that. It was just um, just bouncy signal. But it looks like a coin. Um, not quite sure what kind of coin just yet, but. Uh, I don't want to rub it too much. Looks a little bit uh, worn out. I need to get some of that water spray that you can put on these coins to bring out the detail. Just give that a good clean up and uh, See where it is when we get back. That's a decent start. Okay, this is a second hole. Um, what's the signal? It's about 79, so quite a, a good round number. Sometimes coin numbers, but um, a lot of lead in this field, so it looks like lead, that, doesn't it? Is that it? No? Oh, what's that? Is that the imprint of something? I should really have my gloves on. It's there somewhere. It's there, look. Second hole. What is it? It's a, a little button. I say little, <laughs> more like big. There you go. <laughs> I think it's a button because that's the, uh, I think that's the shank on the back. Looks fairly modern to me. Not bad. On to the next hole, let's see what we can find. A big signal. And uh, let's have a look what's in the hole. I can see something peeping out there. It uh, looks like a Victorian uh, penny. I'll get it cleaned up. 1899, I think. That's the first decent find from this field. So uh, it shows there's a few little old coins here, so I'm going to keep going. 
on to the next. That last um, Victorian penny was just came out of there where the pinpointer is. I don't know if you can see that. And it looks like there's another one here. Sorry about the messy hole. No, it's uh, one of the later ones. George, I can't see the date. I'll show you later, but it's another penny. That's two in two minutes. Oh, there might be a bit of silver around here, you never know. On to the next. So I wasn't holding out much hope for this, so I didn't bother filming, but then this came up. I'm not quite sure what this is. I thought it was just like some kind of a jubilee clip at first, but there are some uh, bit of decorative markings on it. It's like, is it the top of a like, walking cane or something like that? Warm my glove out now. I was hoping for a bit of silver and I've, I'm wondering if this is a bit of silver. It's got that something th right through it, right through the middle. I don't know. I'll get that cleaned up and I'll see if we can ID it somehow. So the uh, search of the field has uh, now come to an end. I spent around about four hours over two days searching the field and um, let's do the big reveal. Let's see what we found. Okay, here we go. In no particular order. One Commonwealth Garden buckle. I do find a lot of these. I'll just put it there so you can see it. Another buckle. And not quite sure what that is. I'm wondering if it might be a top of a, a walking cane. I was hoping it was going to be silver, but there are no hallmarks on it that I can see, so I'm not quite sure. Might need to do a bit more research on that. And some modern coins, 120p. And another 20p. And a euro from the year 2000. A penny. Modern penny. A modern 2p. Not too modern, but it's a 10p. The old ones that were big and chunky. And a pound coin, the old style. And that looks like a little knob off a drawers or something. Is that like a pulley or something like that? Pulley mechanism. A huge button. And another huge button. And the coin, but it's toasted. I can't tell what it is. Maybe an old-fashioned halfpenny. That's a coin. You can see Britannia on the back, but I'm not quite sure what it is. Hard to tell. And a button. Another old coin. 
it does have markings on it but I'm not quite sure what it is it's got a circular like an orb shape on it with a crown at the top it's small I'm not quite sure what that is a really tiny little button and another that's a mystery object is that like a, a bag seal or something made out of lead with a little clip on it bit of rubbish I think I think that might be a pigeon ring Or something similar. I think the best two finds were these. They were in the um, more or less the same hole. We've got a, a Victoria coin from 1899. It's that one. Queen Victoria and a George the uh, sixth from 1939. I did a little bit of research. The Victoria in 1899 was just a couple of years before she died she, um, she in 1899 she laid the foundation stone for the Victoria and Albert Museum and she also went to Spain that year the first reigning monarch to set foot in Spain 1939 what was Bertie doing in 1939 just as the war broke out he was the first British monarch to enter the United States and um, throughout the Second World War he stayed in Buckingham Palace most of the time and he's even present in Buckingham Palace when it was bombed bombed nine times in total and I believe in 1939 he visited France to uh, see the British expeditionary, expeditionary force so that's the finds from the field but of course, there are, where are other bits? Bits of rubbish. Bit of a knife. Not quite sure what that is. Lead. Don't know. One ring pull. Two ring pulls. Bit of rubbish. Another ring pull. Another ring pull. More lead. More lead. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> that is lead. <laughs> I think. <laughs> That's the biggest piece I've ever found. <laughs> we all go to the scrap man because you can get about a pound for a kilogram for this stuff. So there you go. And and a bit of rubbish and more rubbish and another bag full of I don't know, tin can of some kind, some kind. bottle top a buckle that's seen better days oh, more lead and that looks like lead as well. And a huge ring made out of iron. And that is pretty much it. So uh, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.